Do you know how to record a check that you gave to your vendor and it bounced back? Uh, if not, then watch this video for the full detailed explanation of the whole process. Hi, my name is Pooja Lumba. I am a CPA and QuickBooks Pro Advisor. And I'm going to walk you through this whole process of recording a check that was given to a vendor and it bounced back. So let's get started. Uh, step number one, we're going to record the check that was given to the vendor. So checks can be written in two ways. One as a bill payment, number two as a plain check posted to an expense. I'm gonna walk you through the process of recording the balance check for both. Um, okay, so step one is gonna be recording the check as a simple check or as a bill payment. So we're gonna enter a bill and then a bill payment in this, cha uh, in this uh, case. So let's do it. So first we are going to record a bill. And we can pick any vendor. And let's say bill date was March 1st, 2025. March 25. And it was for insurance and the check was for $1,000. Uh, and we save it. Okay, now we're gonna go to our banking, bank transactions and find the check that we gave to our vendor. Okay, QuickBooks is having issues actually matching the transactions at this time. So we're gonna have to find, uh, we're gonna do a manual match. Click here on match. Um, okay, so it's picking the bill up, which I made the payment towards. So this was the bill that I paid, um, $1,000, right? So I'm gonna match it. Or again, you can simply click on the check for example, on this one, right? You could just say a BNY and insurance and whatever your vendor name was, whatever the bill, it, the expense was supposed to be. Okay, you can record it like that. Okay, step that was step number one, right? You record a payment um, for your vendor. Number two, uh, check bounce back, uh, came back into your account. Right here. So what are we supposed to do here? Okay, the way we record it is, again, if you're recording a simple check, you are going to post it to the same expense account where you posted the um, actual, the original check. Okay, so for example, we did BNY and insurance, so I'm gonna pick the same vendor BNY and insurance, but that's in case of writing a check. If you did a bill payment like we did in our case, we are going to post it to that same vendor but we are going to post it to accounts payable. Okay, add, that's, the, uh, that's step number two. Okay, step number three is only needed if you recorded a bill payment. The check that was the, that bounced back to your account, it was recorded as a bill payment. If you recorded, as, recorded it as a normal expense or a check, then you don't need to do the step number three, but I'm gonna walk you through the step number three as well. Okay, step number three now is, you are going to go to your vendor. In our case, it's BNY. I'm gonna set, I'm gonna change setting here for one thing. I'm gonna have the balance on. I like seeing which bills are open and which ones are uh, closed. Okay, so now uh, step number three, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to that bill payment that we made before, the one that bounced back. And we are going to uncheck the bill that was paid with this payment and we're gonna check off deposit, okay? Deposit is the transaction where the check bounced back. So we're gonna, we're gonna mark that paid uh, with the bounce check, okay? Save and close, okay, no problem. We're done with that, okay. So now these two things are connected. The bill payment is now connected to the deposit the bounce check, right? So they are offsetting each other. And now the bill, the original bill that we had in our system, now it's open. 
to be paid again. That's what we needed. Now, another step we need to do in case, in case your vendor tells you to pay additional bounce check fee, which some vendors do, if they do, then you have to enter another bill. Again, you will enter a bill only if you had a bill entered in the in, uh, before where you made a bill payment. If you are simply writing a check, then don't enter any bill. I'll walk you through the process of writing a check um, with the bounce check fee as well. Okay, so let's do this. We're gonna enter another bill here. Instead of insurance, this time it's gonna be bank charges. And the bank charges, let's say, are $20 that your vendor is expecting from you. Save. Okay, so we record it as BNY, bank service charges, $20, and save and close. Oops, I forgot to change the date. Let's go back and change the date of this bill because date of this bill is going to be the same. We're going to keep it as same as the date the check bounced. So I'm going to make it rich and I can put it in as bank charges bounced check. Save and close. Okay. Now, uh, next step is going to be recording a payment now you have to pay the vendor again right now you have the bill open now you have additional twenty dollars to be paid now we're going to pay make the payment to the vendor so again you know uh, when we are making a bill payment to existing bills we're going to click here new transaction and we're going to say expense okay on the right hand side you're going to see the bill open bills i'm going to add all of them because it's two only, and uh, those are the two I'm paying. Okay, and then it's gonna be pick the right bank account, pick the payment date, which in my case is three, five, four, uh, check number, whatever it is. Okay, and then that's it. I'm paying both $1,000 original bill and $20 in balance check fee. Save and close. Okay, now, uh, for the people who are writing only a check and not doing a bill payment, you are simply going to go to next step, which is you're going to go to bank transactions. Here, when you're writing a check, you are simply going to write BNY. Split it is going to be insurance or whatever your expenses, uh, $1,000. And then the bank charges are going to be twenty dollars, and that makes us that makes it thousand twenty. Now you can print a check, you can send an electronic payment, whatever. But this is how you record it, and you're going to do split and add. I am not doing that because that's not how I was recording my transaction. Um, again, as I said, you know, QuickBooks is having issues matching transaction, but this is the second check clearing from my account. What I'm going to do is here. If you have check number, then it's going to show the check number as well. So my check number 2501, that was replacing my initial check. Um, and then I'm going to click on match right here. Okay, I have the incorrect reference number. Um, but yes, you get the point. It should be the same reference number. Uh, and then now it's showing me an option to match it to the existing one. So I already recorded a bill payment check and now match. Um, one thing to keep in mind is when you pay multiple bills with the same with the same check or in like one payment, basically making one payment for multiple checks, never just come here and try to match it to multiple bills. It does give you an option to do that, but do not do it. When you when you match one single payment to multiple bills, what it does is it creates multiple payments in your uh, QuickBooks file. It doesn't show like one payment of 1020, for example, it's gonna show $1,000 payment and $20 payment. And when you go reconcile your books, it's going to give you a hard time. Okay. So do not do that. Um, whenever you pay multiple bills with one check number, one expense transaction, always go into vendor center, enter a payment from there, not through the bank transaction. And then you come here and match it, of course. Okay. That's it. That's the whole process. This is how you would record a check that you gave to your vendor, but that bounced back.
So see you in the next video and happy accounting.